Hello, welcome back to the NXL IT Guru YouTube channel. Uh, as promised in the previous lesson, today in this video we will learn about IP addressing and MAC addressing. Uh, this video is the fourth lesson under network design and implementation. If you have missed the previous lessons, uh, go to the channel playlist and follow the lessons in the order. Uh, also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you will get notified when we add new lessons. Okay, so let's start the uh, lesson. Uh, this is a short lesson and we can try out some past exam paper questions at the end. So, what is an IP address? Uh, internet protocol address or IP address in short is a unique number allocated to every device connected to a network. Even though your, uh, uh, your device, maybe computer or laptop is plugged using a cable to a network, your device will not communicate with other devices if the device doesn't have a valid IP address. Uh, IP addresses serve two uh, main functions, the principal functions. Firstly, it identifies each host or the device uniquely within the network. Uh, secondly, it allows other devices to identify the location, uh, the sometimes uh, the geographical location through addressing structure. Uh, IP addresses are stored as uh, binary numbers inside the computers but they are displayed to us in a uh, human readable decibel notation. A, a sample IP address is shown on the right uh, side of the screen. Uh, the IP address consists of four segments as you can see. Each segment can have values ranging from 0 to 224. So how does an IP address work? Uh, well, it works very similar lead to your house address when you want to send a letter to a friend or a relative living in another city or a, another country uh, you simply put your letter in an envelope and uh, write the destination address and also sometimes write your address as the return address and you post it right so the networks work very similarly to the postal service the message you want to send from your device to another is packaged into something similar to an envelope and the destination IP address as well as your IP address as the source address uh, is stamped onto this package before sending it into the network. The network devices will read the source and the destination IP addresses to decide uh, like how to route your data package to the correct uh, recipient device so simple as that uh, there are different types of ip addresses used around the world and these types originate uh, based on four categorizations the first categorization is uh, whether the ip address is public or private uh, a private uh, IP address is an IP address uh, used inside a private network uh, such as in our homes or in our offices. The majority of the devices have private, uh, private IP addresses. Chances are the device you are using to watch this video also has a private IP address. Uh, on the other hand, the public IP addresses are that are assigned to devices uh, participating directly on the internet and are used outside our home or office computer networks. Uh, public addresses are limited and those uh, are expensive due to that reason. The second category is uh, static IP and dynamic IP addresses. Uh, a static IP address is something that is concretely assigned to a device and that never changes when it is on the device. Static IP addresses are directly keyed into the device. On the other hand, dynamic IP addresses are assigned to a device when the device connects to a network. And these addresses are recycled and reused for other devices when devices are disconnected and new devices are connected to the network. So in a network, uh, there's a dynamic host configuration protocol server that enables issuing and recycling such dynamic IP addresses. 
the next categorization is shared versus dedicated IP addresses. Uh, a shared IP address is an IP address assigned uh, virtually to multiple virtual devices. The most common example is uh, website hosting services using a single shared IP address to host many websites. A dedicated IP address is an address assigned to a specific site or a device. Uh, it is uh, not shared among multiple servers uh, or websites. And it has a better security since uh, different network traffic is not sent to the same IP address. The fourth categorization, the final categorization is logical IP addresses versus physical IP addresses. Uh, uh, logical IP addresses are assigned by the software inside the server or router and it could uh, change periodically but a physical IP address is a unique IP address uh, built into uh, each piece of the hardware by the hardware manufacturers. Uh, the IP address standard has gone through many versions uh, out of all there are two main IP address versions that you need to know about. Uh, those are IP version 4 and IP version 6. We commonly refer to them as uh, IPv4 and IPv6. Uh, IPv4 is the original IP address version that is uh, mass adopted across the world. So, now we are talking about 4 and 6. So, what happened to IP versions 1, 2, 3 and 5? Well, those versions were there but they were not ready for uh, production use uh, due to their limitations and issues. So, IP version 4 was first used in 1982 on SatNet. Uh, since then, it has been adopted across the world and uh, used in billions of devices uh, but towards the latter part of 1980s it came apparent that the IP version 4 pool is uh, uh, going to run out of IP addresses given the rate that the internet is expanding and the number of devices and the technology uh, usage and all that. So therefore the world came up with a, a new IP address version called IP version uh, IP version 6 in 1995 with a larger address format uh, that enables a very large address pool. Uh, further the shortcomings that uh, we are learning in IPv IPv4 was also addressed in IP version 6. So now let's see the differences between IP version 4 and IP version 6. Okay, as told earlier in IPv4, uh, it's a 32-bit address while IP version 6, it's a 128-bit address. Therefore, while IPv4 generates only 4 billion unique addresses, IP version 6 generates 340 undesilient unique addresses. If you're also curious how much is 340 undesilient, uh, I have put the number at the bottom of this slide. You can see uh, in white, in the black background, what is uh, 340 undesilient number. Uh, IP version 4 is split into 5 classes, but IP version 6 does not contain any classes. A uh, class is where exactly the IP address can be used. For an example, there are uh, private address classes and public address classes while version 4 has a limited number of IP addresses version 6 has very large address space. Uh, IP version 4 supports manual and uh, DHCP configuration dynamic cost control protocol. Uh, IP version 6 while supporting manual and DHCP configuration it also supports auto configuration and renumbering as well. And ver version 4 doesn't uh, provide the capability of encryption and authentication while IPv6 uh, provides encryption and authentication uh, that has added more security. Uh, 
Now, as you can imagine, networks across the world have devices that support IPv4 only. So, they are, the previous devices, they were supported with IPv4 only. But newer devices support both IP versions 4 and version 6. Therefore, when IP version 6 was introduced, it was designed to provide transitional strategies. The transitional strategies are features or the flexibility provided in IP version 6 to coexist, coexist with uh, IP version 4 until such time uh, that all devices in the world are upgraded to work with IP version 6. The first strategy is called uh, dual stacking. Uh, this enables all new devices to have both versions. By doing so, the device will dynamically decide whether to use uh, version 4 or 6 based on the network it is connected to. The next strategy is tunneling. In this approach, all the users having IPv6 communicates with the IPv4 network uh, to reach the IPv6, sort of a tunnel. The third and final strategy is network <coughs> strategy uh, address translation. Uh, the translation allows communication between the host having uh, different IP versions. Now let's move to learn on MAC address. Uh, MAC address, short for Media Access C Control Address, is a unique identifier uh, assigned to network interface NIC for use as a network address in communicating with the network segment. Uh, MAC addresses are uh, physically attached to a hardware device. Uh, if you if you have ever tried to identify devices on a network or search for a nearby uh, Bluetooth device, chances are that you have dealt with MAC addresses. Uh, but what are they exactly? And how are they different from IP addresses? Let's see. A MAC address is responsible for local identification and an IP address for global identification. This is the primary difference between a MAC address and IP address and it affects how they differ in their number of bits, address assignment and interactions as well. The MAC address is only significant on the LAN to which a device is connected and it is not used for your or retained in the data stream once the packet leave the network. MAC addresses are primarily assigned by the device manufacturers and are therefore often referred to as the burned in address or as in Ethernet hardware address uh, or physical address. We also, uh, I mean, the, those go as synonyms. Any piece of uh, internet software uh, such as a uh, Web browser directs data to a destination on the internet using the destination's IP address. Uh, that address is inserted into the data packets that a network software uh, stacks uh, sends out. People rarely use the address numbers directly instead uh, using BNS names which the application translates into the matching number. Uh, internet routers move the packets from the source network to the destination network and then to the LAN on which the destination device is connected. Uh, that local network translates IP address to a MAC address, adds the MAC address to the data stream and sends the data to the right device. Uh, MAC addresses are always a 12 digit hexadecimal number with the number separated every two digits by a colon or hyphen. And MAC addresses are available from zeros through F. The first half of the uh, number is typically used as a manufacturer ID and the second half <coughs> is a device uh, identifier. Nearly all uh, enterprise network devices today with the Wi-Fi or Ethernet, this number is hard-coded in the de device uh, during the manufacturing process. Now that we know both IP and MAC addresses, let's see their differences. 
<coughs> MAC address it's a 48 bit address and IP address is a 32 bit address and MAC address in the OSI 7 layer model it uh, works in the second layer that is the link layer whereas IP address uh, works in the third layer that is the network layer. MAC address is a physical address uh, it's sort of hard coded but the IP address is a logical address that could change. Uh, MAC address is fixed and assigned by the manufacturer and the IP address could change uh, depending on the network environment. Now let's look at some sample questions and an Excel exam question and figure out what sort of questions that they ask. Okay, question one, every device connecting to internet has two addresses, explain. Okay, we can say every computer or device in the internet has two types of addresses. Uh, the, number one is physical address, which is also called as MAC address or the media access control. Uh, this address is to identify a device to other devices on the same local network. Whereas, uh, and the second address we have is the internet address or the IP address. Uh, that helps to identify the device globally. A network packet needs both addresses to get to its uh, destination. Question 2, what are the advantages of using IPv6? Uh, the IPv6 address space is 32 bits, uh, which allows for just over 4 billion addresses with more device needing to connect to the internet. IPv6 came that has address space of 128 bits that can generate 340 undesilient unique addresses. So this allows uh, to add more devices uh, and communicate between the devices. Another advantage is IPv6 provides more efficient routing and IPv6 is more secure due to encryption and authentications and IPv6 is faster and easy to communicate. Uh, this question is from 2022 Edexcel exam paper. Uh, mobile devices can connect to wireless networks at public Wi-Fi hotspots. When a device connects to a hotspot, it needs an IP address. IP address can be static or dynamic. Explain why a mobile device should be allocated the dynamic address, IP address. Okay, so we need to explain why a mobile device should be allocated a dynamic IP address when connecting to a hotspot. Uh, you need to say because using dynamic addresses allow the hotspot to assign a temporary address to the mobile device once the device disconnects because it's a mobile device. So there could be so many mobile devices connected. So there's no point adding a static IP so once a mobile uh, device disconnects the address is available again for another uh, device to connect that is the answer and the second part is the mobile device will send its media access control mac address to the hotspot explain why the mac address is used in making the connections uh, mac because mac address is unique to the device uh, and hotspot uh, uses the MAC address to identify its device and uh, let's say hotspot there could be uh, uh, interruption so MAC address is used to uh, reconnect where if there are temporary interruptions so that uh, you can mention one of those uh, reasons or all the reasons to get the full marks okay so with this, uh, we conclude the fourth lesson that we learned under network design and implementation. So the remaining two topics under network chapter is network security and the network matrix. So I am plan to cover those two in two video lessons. So until we meet again, good luck with your studies.